the day destroys the night Night divides the day Trying to run, trying to hide Break on through to the other side Good evening to each and every one of you I am uh, Doc Taylor, 3rd Platoon, Charging, Charging Charlie Company, 4th of the 47th Infantry. Again, I would like to tell everyone that uh, I was a proud soldier then, and I'm still a proud soldier to have served with the 9th Infantry Division. Uh, it, uh, it gives me great pleasure when I can see Forrest Gump for the hundredth time. When <laughs> run, Forrest, run. <laughs> But uh, I don't want to take much of time I uh, share at this time. I think we were just predestined to meet our pastors crossed back in 1966. And like I used to tell some of the guys uh, that were, we called it itching about certain things that the Army did, I said, man, we just got to be the, make the best out of a bad situation. And I'd like to share this story with you. Being a medic, when we reported to Fort Riley, I was assigned to the 3rd platoon. And uh, if Bill Guy was here, he would tell you, we medics, we just kind of stayed out of the way while we was at Fort Riley watching you guys do your maneuvers and everything. And we lost out on some of the things. And the first thing was, when we got to Vietnam, I don't know why it seemed like the third platoon was being assigned to be the test tube, so to speak. It said we're going out on a night ambush. And uh, so we got on our choppers that evening, and by the time we got to the ambush site, I'm just going along with you. I'm just following everybody else, you know. And we get in there, and it gets dusk dark, and uh, as Lieutenant Hoskins and Sergeant Moore get us together, we start going in this jungle, uh, and it's getting dark and spooky. So I still don't know if they said a night ambush, so I'm thinking, after they assigned, I think Lieutenant Hoskins is saying we were in three-man position. So we laid there for a little while, and I'm just, uh, they assigned me my night watch or what my hours. And after a while, I'm looking at my watch, and I'm thinking, I'm Bush, okay, we don't do anything, we go home. And so I said, uh, Sergeant uh, Bedford, I said, Sergeant Bedford, how long are we gonna stay out here? He said, all night. I said, all night? He said, shh. <laughs> I said, man, we can't stay out here all night. He said, yeah. I said, I mean, God, nobody never told me we're going to be standing right here all night. You know? <laughs> but I'm so glad to have crossed paths. And like I told um, the youngsters when I retired, I've only had two jobs in my life that I really loved. That was the U.S. Army and the U.S. Post Office. Yeah. Uh, my name's Tom Conroy. Many of you know me. No. Hopefully. <laughs> Uh, I'd like to say congratulations, Jack. Uh, you know, throughout the years, uh, you never, I never meant a man like you. Never. Uh, you got a heart of gold. You always had a joke. I mean, there wasn't a day that gone by that we met you and you didn't have a joke for us. Uh, you know, it was amazing. It really was. Anyway, and I'd like to thank Jim Dennison for starting this up along with power. It's been a long ways, and uh, Jim and, uh, and uh, Bauer, they did this, and uh, Bill and his wife have taken this over, and they've really done a fantastic job, and I wanted to say thank you to them because they've really done some nice stuff. They're really nice. And I'd like to say uh, hello to all the newcomers. Larry Hoyle, uh, uh, I grew up with him. I was, uh, we grew up as kids, drafted together and went to Vietnam together. And uh, I'd like to thank Larry and his son for coming and Barbara and her daughter and all the rest of them that are here. And uh, I want to thank you very much. And uh, anyway, that's about it. So. Yeah. Sorry about that. You get a little old, you start losing your memory. <laughs> not, not that anybody out there is old. Uh, also, I'd like to thank Jace Johnson. Um, many, of, many of you know, and many of you don't know, uh, what, what he's given to everybody over, uh, over a period of time. Uh, 
I mean, I, if, if he had his brothers, he'd probably tell me not to say anything, but I want to thank him for everything that he's done and the shirt that we had made up uh, from in San, San Antonio was for, for him, from me, for everything that he did. Thank you. There you go. Well, my name is Mario Lopez. I want to thank Bill, and I want to thank everybody that worked together. And I want to thank my grandson, because he's the one that discovered all you people in the computer, and it got me enlightened. I really want to appreciate it. I want to personally thank all you guys who has prayed for me, my family over the last three years doing my cancer. Um, it really hurt me more than you can imagine uh, missing the uh, San Antonio reunion. But uh, I was in a state that uh, all I can say is I didn't really see the face of God, but I felt like I was being held in his bosom. I guess he wanted to keep me around to come to these reunions. But you guys. But what I want to do is uh, also pass on my congratulations to uh, Major Benedict. What is his name? Uh, his counterpart, who was my uh, platoon leader, John Hoskins. I was his point man along with Sergeant Mark. And uh, well, all I can say is I'm glad to be here. Uh, God has been good to me. And uh, when the bear came up, to, uh, my wife surprised me and jumped up and come running up here. So, I <laughs> <laughs> so thanks everyone for praying for me. And, uh, and uh, God's been good, still, still smiling on me. And uh, that's it. did come out of this Vietnam War was Charlie Company's camaraderie. That's one thing that we were all proud of. You know the day destroys the night. Night divides the day.